Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Okay. Solution. We have square root of x plus x equals 3 over 4. Okay, so how do we get the value of x for this? First of all, make x make root x the subject. So we have 3 over 4 minus x. The next step is to square both sides, right? The reason for this is to get the value of um, x, is to eliminate root x, rather. So we have 3 over 4 minus x, and then this will be squared. This cancels this, right? And x will be equal to 3 over 4 minus x into 3 over 4 minus x. Now x is equal to 3 over 4 times 3 over 4. We give 9 over 16. Then we have um, 3x over 4. That is if we multiply this and this. And then minus if you multiply this and this. We have 3x over 4 as well. And then plus, if you multiply this and this, we now have x squared. Now we have x to be equal to 9 over 16. Then put this together, we have minus 6x over 4. Okay, I've put um, these two terms together, then plus x um, squared. And then from here, let's try to clear out the fraction, right? The LCM will be 16. So it will be 16 times x. We have 16x. Then equal to here, 16 will clear itself as we have 9 minus 16 divided by 4 is um, 4. Then multiply by 6, that will give us 24x. Then plus here, 16 multiplied by x squared, that will be 16x uh, squared. Now let's arrange this properly so that we have 16x squared first, 16x squared, then this is minus 24x squared. Okay, there's no square here again, this is just minus 24x, and then this is positive 16x, it comes here to become negative 16x and then what is left okay i have 9 which is plus 9 and this will be equal to 0 then let's continue we have 16x squared then minus if you put this together then you will have 40x then plus 9 this is equal to 0 and instead of you thinking of um, how to factorize this, it's better you use the formula method to get it done. Now, if we are using the formula, this is the formula, x is equal to minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac, and the whole of this is over 2a. Now, let's get our a and substitute. Now, our, let's get our a, b, c and fix into this. Our a is 16, our b is minus 40, and our c is 9. So, x will be equal to, in place of minus b, I'm going to write plus 40, because negative, negative will um, counter each other. So, we have 40 over here. Then, plus or minus, here we're going to have 40, Okay, it's actually negative 40 squared, that is for b, and then we have minus, we have minus um, 4, multiply by a is 16, and then multiply by 9, which is our c. And then the whole of this will be over 2, multiply by 16, because a is 16, right? Okay. Okay, so x will be equal to 40 plus or minus. Minus 40 squared will give us some um, 1,600, right? 
then minus if I multiply 4 and 16 and 9 I'll have 576 then the whole of this will be over 32 that is 2 times 16 okay so x will be equal to 40 plus or minus here if you subtract this you have 1024 and this will be over 32 okay so meaning that x is equal to 40 plus or minus square root of 1024 is actually 32 and this will be over 32 as well now some students will be tempted to cancel this 32 and have 4 as the answer but that would be wrong okay now what does this mean this means that x is equal to 40 plus 32 over 32 or 40 minus 32 over 32 right so this is what this means and then x here will be equal to 40 plus this will give 72 over 32 right or on this side here we are going to have 8 over 32 and then and again somebody will be tempted to say 2 can cancel 2 and x from here should be 7 over 3 but that will be wrong okay so if you want to reduce this to a lower term let 9 divide okay let's 8 divide everything so you have 9 over 32 divided by 8 will have um, 4 right so we have 9 over 4 from here or on this side 8 into 8 is 1 and 8 into 32 is 4 okay so according to the problem we have solved our x1 is 9 over 4 and then our x2 is 1 over 4 but then let's put this back into the original equation and check to see whether we are right or wrong very quickly okay so this is the original equation let's put in the value of x1 that means we have 9 over 4 but square root of 9 over 4 plus 9 over 4 right um this is 4 over here now the question is if we work on this do we have 3 over 4 let's give it a try square root of 9 is 3 square root of 4 is 2 then plus 9 over 4 let's continue again remember that the LCM is going to be 4 then 4 divided by 2 is um is 2 times 3 that will be 6 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 9 that will be 9 right now at the end of the day this is giving us what this is giving us um giving us 15 over 4 instead of 3 over 4 so this means that x1 x1 which is equal to 9 over 4 does not satisfy the equation now let's try x2 which is 1 over 4 so we're going to have square root of 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 let's continue here now this will give us square root of 1 is 1 square root of 4 is 2 then plus 1 over 4 right okay so from here now let's continue the LCM is still 4 then 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1 and at the end of the day we are having 3 over 4 and that is what we got on the right hand side so this is a confirmation that it is only x2 that satisfies the equation